What's up y'all, thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to talk about a great entry level tent that is affordable and lightweight. And that tent is the River Country Products Trekker Tent 2. River Country Products make other tents as well, but this is the one I'll be talking about because it's the lightest of all their products. And when I was looking for tents, I was looking for something that was budget friendly and lightweight. I've had this tent for about a year and I really enjoy using it, especially in the beginning days of my hiking career because it's so affordable and easy to set up. But yeah, let's get right into it, see what this tent is all about. Also, I'm not sponsored by River Country Products at all. So this is a single wall trekking pole tent and it will run you about $64.95 on Amazon or on their website. The weight of this tent is advertised at 2 pounds 7 ounces, which is really good for being a two person tent at this price. The height of this tent can reach up to 42 inches, 7 foot long, and can reach up to 62 inches wide. The fabric of the canopy is PU coated polyester and the floor material is heavy duty tarpaulin. This tent comes with a stuff sack eight aluminum stakes and guidelines that are already attached to the tent. Now, I'm not sure if they seam seal this tent, so I would suggest seam sealing it before you take it out on your first trip. So this tent is pretty easy to set up. It'll just take you a couple minutes with all the guy outlines that are on it. But before we start, there are a couple things. Um, there's a white ribbon in here that I suggest keeping. So that way when you roll up your tent, you can um, wrap the ribbon around it and make the roll a little bit smaller. So that way it'll slide in the bag easier. Also, while you're setting up the tent, uh, make sure the door is facing where the wind is coming through. So that way, if it's a warm day out or if you got a little bit of wetness in your tent, wind will go through it and it'll either dry it out or keep you pretty cool. All right, first thing you wanna do is take the tent out of the stuff sack and then lay it on the ground in a square. All right, now pick your corner out, stake that in, then you go to your other short side and stake that in. Go to the far side and get it at a 90 degree angle and then you'll be able to stake that in and then you'll stake off your last short corner. Now you want to grab your trekking pole and then stick the end through the o-ring. After that you'll pull your guide line out till it's taut and then you'll stake that into the ground. Make adjustments if needed. Do this again on the other side. Now you want to go on the side of your tent, pull out that guy line, and then stake it out enough to where it opens up the walls. And then you'll do the same thing to the other side. Now take your vent guy lines and go ahead and pull those. You don't have to do these as tight, just enough to where it'll open up the vent. All right, so as you can see, this tent is pretty roomy. You'll be able to fit yourself and your gear in here with no problem. Heck, you can even have another extra person in here with gear and you won't be too cluttered. Okay, so back here, you have these two vents right here. That's what I was saying earlier, so the wind will come through the front and all the way back here, it'll ventilate back here. Also back here, you have a pocket here you can store your night lamp or whatever you wish to put in there. So up here in the front, you have a bug net that you can close. And you also have the door to the tent itself. So that way if it's chilly outside, you close that up and it'll trap heat inside there. If you want to roll these doors up, all you got to do is roll it up a little bit. And then you got this little thing here. You just put through this hole the outside and just put it through and it'll leave it open for you. You can also do the same thing with the bug net. All you got to do is Roll it up the other way, get that same clip, and then there's another strap on the inside of it. You just take that same tab, put it through, and boom, you got two open doors right there. So with this being a single wall tent, condensation can be pretty annoying. I've had this tent pretty wet before, and I've also had it really, really dry as well. I don't know the specifics on the science on condensation, but I just want to let you know this tent is prone to condensation pretty bad. 
During the fall, I don't really notice it as much, even if I'm by a creek. Just kind of mind your head when you uh, wake up in the morning if there is condensation because you'll get, you know, water droplets on you. But you know, if your tent is a little damp on the inside, what I would do is uh, front of the tent facing where the wind's coming in and set it up as soon as you get to camp and let it dry out. Leave the doors open and it should dry out in the next hour or two. Also, maybe bring like a small rag or something so that way you can kind of wipe off the walls, you know, if it's wet overnight. And be a little bit mindful of puddles. I've had a couple of puddles in here before, but, um, I'm usually tired by the end of the day, so it don't really bother me too much. I'll just kind of move it over to a far corner and I'll deal with it the next day. So if it's raining and there's condensation on the tent, you know, with this being a single wall, it'll feel like it's raining inside the tent. So this tent holds up well during rain and it can work during windy weather, but I would really suggest getting new stakes. I wouldn't use the stock stakes if you are doing uh, windy weather out here in this tent. And make sure the stakes are really holding down the guy lines and the base straps along the tent or else it'll pop out and um, things will get out of whack. I've actually had a pole follow me a couple times, but uh, one of those times was actually, uh, I had I was staked in sand and it was raining really bad and it was very, very windy. So um, I knew there was something gonna happen, you know. Sand, high wind, and rain is not a good mix. But you know, if everything is taut, everything should work out well for you. Also during cold weather, this, this tent will keep you pretty warm. Now I haven't taken this tent below 30 degrees yet, but with a very good sleep system, you should be pretty warm in this tent. Before you start taking down your tent, be sure to close up all the doors, make sure they're all zippered up and whatnot. Now you want to go in the reverse order of how you put up your tent, starting off with the vent stakes. Then take out the stakes from the sides. Then you want to start taking down your trekking poles. And now go ahead and take out the stakes around the corners. And then before you start folding, go ahead and throw in all your guy lines in the center of the tent. Start folding by folding half of the tent long ways, and then going on the other side and do the same thing, over. Now you're going to fold the tent in half, do the same to the other side, meeting in the middle. Kind of get it deflated a little so it'll fold up a lot better. And then fold it up again. Do the same thing, kind of deflate it, and then you'll fold it long ways again. Get your white ribbon ready and go ahead and roll up the tent. Then use the right ribbon to tie it around the tent, holding it together. And then finally stuff it in the sack. It'll take a little bit of work to get it in there, but once you get it past a certain point, it'll easily slide in. So this tent is a great entry level tent that'll help you start backpacking. If you upgrade, it is a great loaner tent to help others get into the world of backpacking as well. It's affordable, it's lightweight, and it's got plenty of room, and it's easy to set up and take down. There is the condensation issue, and with it being a single wall tent, it is inevitable, but it never put a damper on my hiking trip. But yeah, I definitely recommend this tent. It's been great for me for the past year. And like I said, you will want to upgrade, but you can still keep this and let your friends use it, and they'll love it as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope I was of help with you with your search for a tent. Be sure to subscribe for more gear videos and hiking videos in the future, and I will see y'all on the trail.